Right, let's talk about emotional spikes in conversation. All right, so this is one of the biggest tools, I think, to keep the interaction engaging. And I think this is what a lot of guys are lacking at all in their in their conversation and in their communication, right? So how do we, what are emotional spikes and how can we inject them from time to time to make sure that our interactions aren't just fizzling out and they're bland and boring, right? So essentially, this I want you to think of a conversation like this, right? And then there's positive emotions and negative emotions, right? So this is like neutral emotions and then there's positive up here and then there's negative down here, right? So if this is the an, an interaction, ideally throughout the course of an interaction, there should be emotion, right? Boring, bland, platonic conversation that's gonna get you no friends and no women looks like this. Okay, just hovering right around that neutral area. Why is that? There's no emotional spikes, okay? How do we get these emotional spikes? Well, first off, I want to point out that they shouldn't all be positive and they definitely shouldn't all be negative. Ideally, it should be a good balance of both, right? So like at times in the interaction, there might be like a quick negative emotional spike. I wouldn't recommend doing that right away, but like later on in the interaction, there could be one. Um, but typically there, there should be some kind of emotion injected into the conversation, okay? So if you ever watched a video of mine where you were like really engaged, it's probably because there was a point in the, in the conversation where I was just like, oh my God. And then, yo, at this one point in the interaction, the girl came over and I was just like, my heart was just racing, okay? So like you could see there's a lot of emotion pouring out in that moment, right? It's not like, yeah, so the girl came over and was actually kind of nervous and I went and talked to her um, you wouldn't believe how it went <laughs> right so there's like no emotion there so you want to have at least some kind of emotional positives and negatives throughout the entire interaction so at any point if you feel like the conversation's just starting to fizzle out more and more and more and more and we're talking maybe you're talking with the person but you're like this is getting kind of boring Okay, that's good. That's a good indicator that you need to like inject some kind of an emotional spike into the conversation. Okay, so an easy way to do that is like, yo, check this out. Yo, check this out. And you say it with some energy. Okay, you could say this at any point in the interaction. You could even technically open with it if you're at like a outdoor lounge and there's people nearby and they're like, yo, check this out. And you start talking, right? But I would say it's probably better to use like later on when we're already in conversation. Um, but that's a good, that's a good way to just kind of like snap people out of this boring, bland conversation. And then you got to follow up with something interesting, right? Maybe it's an observation that's going on, or there's some funny story. You could give some personal input and tell a little bit of a story. Maybe it's relevant to the topic. Maybe it's not. It could just be something that happened earlier. Like maybe we're talking about work and she's like, yeah, well, I've been doing nine to five, this and that. And what do you do for work? Oh, well, I'm actually, um, yeah, I'm actually, you know, I, I do, I, I teach, I teach math on the uh, Monday through Friday, but, but yo, check this out. Check this out really quick. You, you wouldn't believe what happened. Okay. Suddenly there's like emotion in the, in the interaction, right? So uh, that's one way that you could just kind of like hit them with some emotion to wake people up. Um, another thing I like to do is just, if things have been boring, I'll just like call out the fact that it's been boring and I just make it more fun. Right. So if I asked a question and, and I was like, oh, how was your weekend? I'll be like, wait, no, actually, that's like boring as hell. I don't even want to, that, that sounded so boring. I, I want something interesting. What's like the craziest thing you did this month? Or what's, what's like one of the most interesting things you did during COVID lockdown? I'm curious. Okay, so that's like just, there's more emotion there. You see, so um, those are a couple of different ways you could do it. Another way is actually injecting a negative spike into the interaction. And I don't recommend opening with this or doing this right away. It's almost like, there's a balance to both. It shouldn't be all positives and it definitely shouldn't be all negatives. But assuming there's been some emotion already going on at a certain point in the interaction, you can inject a negative emotional spike, right? Where the girl's like, uh, I'm asking her what she does for work or what she does for fun. And maybe there hasn't been a lot of emotion going on. She's like, oh, I am, I'm actually... Uh, uh, I'm actually Colombian or I'm actually a teacher or uh, I'm, I'm studying to become a lawyer. Okay. What you could respond to is like, no way. I don't, I don't believe you or no way. I don't believe that. 
Okay, you see how it's like a negative emotional spike, but it brings some emotion into the interaction. So oftentimes, actually just disagreeing with the person you're talking to can bring in some emotion, but you do it in a playful way. I'm not like, you're a fucking liar, right? It's, it's more like, no way, I don't, I don't even believe you. You're Colombian. I don't know why, but I, I got a feeling that like you're lying to me. You're like, you seem like trouble. Can I even, I don't even think I could believe you. Okay. So you, you could see how that it, it, it makes the conversation fun and flavorful. Okay. These are a couple different ways that you could just add in an emotional spike. They don't always need to be crazy. They can be a lot more subtle. I'm kind of exaggerating these right now just to, you know, give you guys an idea of what it is. Like the more I exaggerate, the more obvious it is what I'm doing. But there are also subtle ways where you can add small, smaller emotional spikes. Like sometimes the girl may just tell me, um, she's like, yeah, I'm a lawyer. I'm like, yeah, okay. <laughs> right. That's like a more subtle way, but you could still see there was like some kind of a emotional spike in there. And I also followed it by a laugh. So it's not like super mean when I'm doing it. So these are different ways that you can just add some emotion into the interaction wherever. Anytime you get the feeling that the conversation is going too much like this, hit it with a spike, hit it with a negative spike. Okay. Ideally good conversation. That's fun and engaging is like, okay. So it's like all over the place. Right. And that's what you want. That's how, that's how, uh, the girl doesn't even know what's going to come next. She's just having so much fun and the, the conversation just flowing naturally. It's all over the place. Those are great, um, great conversations that are just filled with emotion. Okay. So this is another tool. This is something else to just kind of keep in the back of your mind of, you know, when you're in interactions with women, hope you can, hope you can um, implement this into your conversations moving forward. I'll see you in the next video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and quick announcement, by the way, I just released my brand new 12 week mentorship program. So for anybody that's interested in leveling up and achieving their goals with women and dating, click the link in the description, fill out the application and we'll be reaching out to you to discuss further details. All right. I'll talk to you soon.